Hey everybody, this is my quick overview of Ubuntu Budgie. This is the 23.10 version. Um, sorry if the mic's really hot. I don't know what the levels are in Linux because it sets up to work in Lin Windows with running the Streamer X program, but in Linux I just plug it in and hit record, <laughs> but I don't have any of the settings of the mic. You can see it shows up here, which is pretty cool. And um, yeah, I just started using this actually a few hours ago and was messing around with my um, Synology NAS. But anyways, as far as the, the um, operating system, I didn't do anything really. I just um, installed updates, I think. Did I even do that? Gosh, I'm so used to just powering it up and going. But this is the Budgie desktop again. It's a little bit different than <laughs> all the other Linux desktops out there. This one is something I've tried, I don't know, maybe a year or so ago and didn't go back to it because I just wanted to check in and see how it's doing. But it looks really cool. Um, there was a startup um, manager or like a, like a welcome screen. Let's just see if it was called welcome. Budgie welcome. There it is. Okay. And yes, it's got some little links here. But what I like is that it has install software and it has Budgie extras like applets and stuff that kind of work well with the desktop. I'm not going to do that today, but they are there. Features talks about you know what's just built in basically and what was one that caught my eye I think it was a software center wasn't that was it recommendations yeah these these was kind of this is kind of weird but I'd like to try like this guten print thing I don't think I've ever tried that sounds interesting it's um was it about remote printing did it have um oh no Epson and Canon that's what it was because I've I've had people, family, that occasionally need access to those printers, and if I ever install Linux for them, this might make it easy for me. Uh, let's see, makeovers and layouts. This is the big one, because you can. there's like these Mac OS-looking ones. I kind of poked around here, but didn't mess with it, mess with it. Like White Sur, like, you know, Big Sur, the Mac OS update from, what, two years ago now, I think? Uh, QOGR Budgie. <laughs> these are just really interesting, but they make it really easy. Like to apply makeover, it just kind of does them all, I guess, but you can just pick certain aspects of it. It's very well polished and put together. This is impressive. This is a really, really well-packaged desktop. And I even checked out their website. It was pretty cool. They talk about like what they're running the website on. It's based on WordPress, actually, but they discuss doing all the different things, like what I've done with my website. You know, they looked into doing a static site. They talked all about that, and I, I went through their website, and it's really cool. They're very transparent. And I just like how they tell you what's going on, how they got to where they are, basically, with this. And they talk about the widgets, you can see here. And I just downloaded it right from here. And because there was an exploit for the Linux servers, the 23.10, uh, the installers are legacy installers, they say. It works fine. I just installed it with the legacy installer, and I don't know, it worked right out of the box. So I like this look these um, budgie makeovers and layouts. I think it's really cool. And like Fluent, let's try this. Let's just try it. Let's click install. And, and right now I'm recording in 60 frames and also recording the desktop. And this is on a, I don't know, six-year-old laptop of mine. It's pretty old. And I just kind of use it for Linux distros and it's fun. They run fine on six-year-old laptops. This one I got 16 gigs of RAM in. But let's see how this makeover works while I'm recording the desktop at 60 frames, which is a little bit hard on this computer, honestly. Even if you run something like OBS Studio, it might do a test on your computer and say, we recommend you record in 30 frames, but this one in Linux has no problem doing 60. It's taking a little bit of time here. I'm not going to edit this video either, but it's cool that it's kind of doing its thing. And I think once it installs, maybe you have to activate it. I'm assuming for Budgie Desktop, but we'll see. Oh, yeah, because over here you got Apply Makeover. Maybe that's what put it in my head. Okay, nothing's ready yet. <laughs> that's one I must have downloaded but didn't apply. Well, while that's downloading, let's go up here and kind of click through the menus. The hot corners thing, I think, was to entice Mac users. It 
said something like that on their website as well. So I can click this spot and edit what the hot corner does when I move the mouse there. So let's turn that on and we're going to click. Um, I don't want to lock the screen because that could screw up my recording. Let's do all windows in grid. So if I bring my mouse up there, ha, ah, that's really fast. I kind of like just put them there. <laughs> no fancy animation. It just kind of jerked them to where they needed to go. Let's try another one. Um, applet view. Okay. It just brings out the little, oh, that's cool. I like that. Notifications. All right. Let's get it out of here. <laughs> How do you get it out of here? Do you, do you double click? Okay, well, what did I do? Um, okay, there. You have to click back in the, the tab to select it. Now let's go back to the layouts. Apply makeover. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's click apply makeover for Fluent. See what it does. Really cool. It's fast. So the download was the part that took the longest. Let's try Q Ogre Budgie. Very quick. Okay, so cool. It changes. Um, would you like to install some snaps? Sure, why not? Let's type in my password. <laughs> and it failed. Okay, well, this is a desktop install. This is not a VM. I'm running this again on, on bare metal on a laptop. So this is an ideal situation, but that failed. That's not a big deal because it's on me to update this. And I did, I believe I did not do the full update. So that's my fault. That's, I'm not going to put that on Budgie's desktop. I will try that again after I do the full system update. I just basically powered this up and hit record after I downloaded it earlier. But now I just, you know, should have done this. If you bring up the terminal, type in sudo apt, oops, apt update, apply. And I'm going to assume it's going to find a bunch of packages to update. Three packages. Ah, oh, sudo apt upgrade y, and it should just do its thing. That was fast. Okay, so maybe I did update it, and I don't remember a thing. Gosh, I need to go to bed on time and not stay up so late. <sighs> you forget things at this age, I guess. That starts to happen, right? So we got a bunch of cool apps here. We have one that looks like a radio. Let's see. Good Vibes. Never heard of it, actually. Let's try that out. Let's close all this junk that I opened. Okay. Well, wow, that's a cool little... It's like a widget-sized radio app. We can go to... I'm not going to play any of these because I don't want to get copyright strikes on my account. But this is really cool. I would definitely be interested in trying that. It's just I don't have to think about it, and I can just play some music. Let's go look for, oh, it's got Mines, it's got Thunderbird built in. I like that. Transmission, great BitTorrent client. Um, Windows Shuffler control, let's see what that is. Oh, so we got more controls. Okay, okay, so you can do much more detailed or customizable tiling. Wow, I could, I mean, there's a lot of customization in here. To me, I thought it was a very simplified OS, but... I just triggered my area that I set up. It's, it's, it's I mean, I've, had, I've not had anything crash yet. And it's running really well. I'm pleasantly surprised. I think this has come a long way, actually. Uh, startup applications. Okay. Pretty self-explanatory. Software update. What's onboard settings? I do not know what that is. Auto show requires GNOME accessibility. Okay. Let's go to no. It's just a keyboard on the screen, so I guess onboard is what that means, maybe. I don't want to show my furry face on the screen. <laughs> uh, uh, mine, okay. That's not, uh, it's too much brain work for me. I don't want to play those kind of games right now. Drawing, let's see, is this an app that they just rebrand? All right, cool, very simple. And I am using a touch screen on this laptop has that, so I can actually draw and it's pretty responsive. Again, an older machine. Let's go to, God, I gotta turn off that hot corner. I really screwed that up by enabling that. Budgie extras, let's do an extra. You know, I said I was gonna do that earlier, but let's go back and we'll try 
Let's try a carbon tray applet. See how long it takes. I want to see if it fails. And then you just add the applet. Okay, that was really quick. You go to desktop settings. Choose budgie desktop settings. Choose the panel. Top panel. Add applet. That's really cool. Okay, so you can just, um, you know, you can mess with those here. The carbon tray applet should show up in here. Carbon tray. Add. See, does it, does it take down the system? Let's try it. <laughs> it's got caffeine. I love that one to keep your screen awake. Oh, really cool. All right, well... That's all I'm going to do for today. There's not a whole lot to mess with here, um, you know, as far as just apps, as you can see right here. I click this, and there's a budget. Oh, let's see what budget control center is. Okay, similar. I, I feel like it has kind of a Mac OS feel. I mean, you got this top bar here, but it's not like you control the applications from that top bar where they integrate into there. What I'm saying is, like, if I click Klondike, I don't have an option up here for file, close, Klondike. It's just right in the app still. So it's, you know, 75% Mac OS feeling. So I like that. It's not too much like Mac OS. When you close an app, the damn thing closes, unlike Mac OS. I get a podcast client. You got LibreOffice. Not a whole lot different, but some cool things I'm going to try. And I'm not sure if this is going to be my daily driver. Probably not, but it's worth a look, and I think you should check it out. Thanks for watching.